Good morning, you guys. I want to give an outreach update on Africa. This is covering January through March of 2021. I'm still chipping away at it, okay? I want you guys to see the good works that you're part of. As we begin this one, I want to share this short teaching that Pastor did on Facebook. Listen to this. Do not be ashamed. The Apostle Paul spent the better part of 30 years preaching the gospel, stretching from Judea to Greece. After being imprisoned by the Romans twice, he was all but forgotten by most of the leaders in Christianity because he was a prisoner. By the time he wrote this second epistle to Timothy, most were ashamed of Paul and not willing to recognize that he was one of the apostles of Jesus Christ. In his second letter to Timothy, he said, Do not be ashamed of the work that we have done, though it has not been what we had hoped. All of the work that Paul had accomplished was not in vain because he was sharing in the suffering of Jesus Christ for the sake of the gospel and the power of God. He was not ashamed, for he knew who he believed in and that he was persuaded that he can keep, that is Jesus, can keep what he, Paul, had committed unto him until that day, the day that Paul would become immortal in physical death. Paul was telling Timothy to not be ashamed of the gospel that he had preached because it was the power of God unto salvation. And that is true. No matter what this world does to us, thinks about us, you know, throws at us the persecution. Let us not be ashamed of the gospel, but stand on God's word and go on and speak it out and stand for the truth. Now, so they had a leaders meeting. He says, leaders meeting today of all our Holy Trinity Living Water Ministry, six church branches at County Hotel in Bungoma. We had a good time of planning our 2021 ministry calendar, praying, fellowshipping, and eating together as a family. What a wonderful day. Thank you, Jesus. Your prayers and support is a big blessing to our ministry work. And now we're going to get to see some pictures of this. So there's six churches here. These are the leaders, the pastors, the leaders, the teachers in those churches all coming together here. And you see them all standing here praising the Lord. And there's Pastor Erustus at the head up front. And here's Pastor Erustus uh, pictured at the front with the leaders. And here they are again. This, this was wonderful to be able for them to meet here like this, to hold their leaders meeting here in this place. There's Pastor Sarah. She's speaking to them now. Here they are again, listening and taking their notes. Making their plans for God's glory, for His work. And here, they got to have lunch out on the veranda of the hotel where the meeting was held. And you guys, this was a real blessing for them to uh, be able to be waited on to be served like this and to be able to have this meal and to be able to meet together in this place. It was a, it was a time of refreshing for them and fellowship and, and teaching and being together in fellowship. Here is Pastor Erustus. He's enjoying breakfast at the hotel with um, Ekero Mamias Town Holy Water Living Church Branch Associate Pastor Martin Omondi seated there with pastor so they were there the whole day so they got to have breakfast and lunch and you know things like that and so that was a real blessing for them here's pastor sarah it must have been cold because she's wrapped up in that um shawl that blanketed shawl and she's sitting there having a it could be breakfast at that time with one of the leaders and here's a picture of everyone getting to enjoy the catered lunch out on the veranda. It's a, really a treat and a blessing for them. They don't live lives and lifestyles like we do here in America. They very rarely get to do these kind of things. And so it really was a big treat for all these church branches to come together here and meet in this place. 
Pastor Shares praise testimony. Enjoyed ministry work today. Traveled together with my other able leaders for a Sunday service at our recently planted Holy Trinity Living Water Church branch at Camille Town. We also bless this church today with a public address system and church instruments. What a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Enjoy the pictures. We are now trusting God to provide for the church land. So here in these first pictures, here's Pastor Erustus. And I don't know, I can't remember. I wanted to say it might be Pastor Daniel here of this church branch. But here they are featured with the public address system, the sound system in the church. And here they are. They also got uh, music instruments so that they can sing and praise, worship the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Come before the Lord with singing. So here they are. And here is a stay-in, of course, for the church service. So here is the church service. And here's pastor with some of the church leaders. And then some different people came to, to speak and share maybe their testimonies and, and the things that God has been doing in their lives. Here they are praising. Here's pictures of the service again. Here is the congregation. Here's a, a, one last picture. You see all the children. There's so many children in all these churches. Praise God for the youth growing up in the church. Here's pastor bringing the word of God. And here he is. Uh, and you can see the, the congregation listening, listening to the word of God as pastor's preaching there. A next update, he says, travel today to Kam Kamaliwa area near the slopes of Mount El Elgin for our men's monthly fellowship of Holy Trinity Water Branch Church of Bungoma Town. The fellowship was hosted by our church administrator. The men's fellowship also gifted him with a young heifer following his wedding last year in December. What a blessing. Wish you a wonderful Sunday. And uh, here are the pictures. So this is men's fellowship. Here they are meeting here, praying before they start. Here they are listening to the messages, the teachings, and the testimonies that are being shared. Here's pastor speaking to everyone. And they got to enjoy some food together, breaking bread together. And here's that picture of that heifer. You guys might have thought that was kind of funny, but it's a really big deal to be able to have a cow there. Um, Pastor Arusta shared with me that, um, you know, we were able to bless him with the cow, and he said he never thought he would see the day that he would have a cow. So these things that are being done, this is something, cows are very expensive, and even there, they're very expensive. I mean, they're $450, $500. So, I mean, and I guess it depends on the age and the this and the that and what type and all of that. But they're not cheap. And so praise God that that, that administrator was blessed with that heifer at his wedding, right? That's a real blessing. So the next update, he says, Today, after our Sunday service, we traveled with some, lead some of the leaders to Kamati Market Center, Bungoma, to dedicate a church land donated by one of our elders of Holy Trinity Living Water Church, Bungoma Town. God bless our dear brother and his family. We plan to plant a church branch on this land in the near future. We request for your prayers and support. We wish you God's blessings with love, Bishop Arrestus and Sarah. Now here is the land that was donated. Praise God for that brother's heart that was open to give this land to the church, to God's kingdom for God's glory for his kingdom work so here they are praying over and anointing that land and here's a picture of them smiling for the camera we love to see their smiles 
And I praise God for that donated land. And that, that brother will surely be blessed for doing that for God's kingdom. And Pastor said, what a powerful Sunday service at our Holy Trinity Living Water Church branch, Ekero, Mamias Town. The Spirit of God continues to move mightily, filling and delivering many from evil powers. We love you and know that this is happening because of your prayers and support. We cannot make it on our own. Shalom with love, Bishop Arrestus and Sarah. And here are those pictures of that service. This is a worship service. And no, they are not Illuminati just because they have the checkered tile floor. <laughs> That's what they could get there to put in the church. And we don't hate those things just because we know about the, the symbols and signs of the Illuminati, right? Um, here are the next uh, picture. This is the congregation worshiping. And then here is Pastor Sarah and Pastor Erastus together at the pulpit. This is Pastor Erastus preaching in the church. And here are some of the congregation have come forward for prayer. And while he was ministering the word of God, demonic manifestations happened, and that's what this lady is being delivered from demons. Pastor says, we give thanks to God for his sufficient grace. Last weekend, we traveled to Uganda to visit our Holy Trinity Living Water Church at Casabare, Uganda. It was over, over a year since he was able to visit that church branch due to COVID-19 issues. He says, we had a wonderful Sunday service, child dedication, water baptism, and fellowship. What a loving God we serve. The church is doing pretty well. Thank you, Jesus. As always, we appreciate your continued prayers and support. God bless you all, our dear friends and family. With love, Bishop Erastus and Sarah. Now here's Pastor at some point on his trip to Uganda. It's pretty far away from where he is in Bungoma. And here are pictures of that church service. He went there to strengthen the church. Here they are praising the Lord. Strengthen it and check on it, just like Apostle Paul would make his rounds to the different churches he had planted. And here is the church service, the congregation. Look at all the children in this church. These churches are filled with children. Praise the Lord for that. And here, this might be, I don't know if they're singing here. It kind of looks like they're singing here. Here they are sharing. Uh, this man, I don't know if he uh, might be sharing a testimony. And here you see Pastor and the church pastor up front there with him as this lady is singing. And here you see the different ones that come forward to share in the church. And they're, I'm telling you, they're either singing or they're giving testimonies here. And here is a man that's up front sharing, and you see that big smile on Pastor's face. Here's Pastor bringing the Word of God. And here he is. They did a child dedication this day. So he's laying hands on the children, dedicating and praying over them, dedicating them to God and praying over them. Here he is laying hands on some more children, dedicating these little babies and these toddlers and these little young children. Here's another baby that pastor was praying over, dedicating to the Lord. He's praying over this man, and he's laying his hands on his stomach, so he's probably having stomach, probably having uh, digestive tract issues. So pastor's praying for healing here. And here's another picture. Look at all the children in this church. All those children. And Jesus said, let the little children come unto me. 
Here they are. Here are the ones who were going to be uh, baptized and those that wanted to witness their baptism standing by the water's edge. And here are, here's Pastor Erustus praying over the baptisms that they're about to do. And here are some of those church members being baptized. Here are some more being baptized. They go right out into the water, just like when Jesus went out to be our example and was baptized in the Jordan River by John the Baptist. And here they are. Looks like they are praying at the completion of the baptisms. And I just want to tell all of you guys, those who support Three Hearts Church, you support us with your prayers and with your tithes and your offerings. You are part of these great works that are being done in our outreach ministries and in our ministry. And I want to read Romans 10, 14 through 15 to you. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And I just want to remind you all that you are helping to send Pastor Erustus and Pastor Sarah there in Africa and all the leaders and ministers under them. And you're helping to send me and this ministry all around this world. When you're praying over us and your tithes and offerings, you're helping to send us and you're taking part in the good works that God created for us to do long ago. So I thank you guys for watching and God bless y'all.